Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm just putting out a quick update regarding Skiff. This video is sponsored by two VPN providers, Surfshark VPN, one of my top VPNs if you're looking for an excellent bundled offering. The bundled offering with Surfshark One Plus includes antivirus, various data breach protection features, and a data removal service called Incogni. This is a service that will go to websites like White Pages and remove your IRL information. So this is definitely a solid pickup. It's a top rated offering here on my channel. And the data broker removal service is my top recommended one since it's so affordable. This is half as much as you're gonna pay with some of the other services out there like Delete Me. So definitely a solid pickup. However, if you're looking for some other options, TorGuard is another good choice. It includes some remote VPN offerings, um, different email bundle offerings. It also includes interesting cloud proxy or um, V2 Ray options if you're in a sensory country. The basic plan also includes SOX5 proxy for torrenting, which is excellent. If you're looking for dedicated IPs, it's also very good since there's interesting bundles that are very affordable. If you want to use any of these things with TorGuard, use promo code TOMSPARK2023. With Surfshark, use my link in the description down below. It'll help support the channel. And these are two excellent products that I stand by and recommend on a daily basis. Now, if you're familiar with the channel, you know that I was one of the first people to really promote Skiff and recommend it to people. It was an excellent open source email application with Google Docs, Google Drive, and everything like that. One of my main concerns when recommending products like this, especially from the beginning when I thought with Skiff, was that it seemed kind of like a product that was a little bit too good to be true. It was pretty much free. No one was really subscribing to premium, at least in my opinion. They didn't even have any sponsorship or an affiliate program, so I never made any money with Skiff. Um, they just didn't really seem to probably be making that much money. They just seemed to be growing their website as quick as possible, getting as many users as possible. And I kind of had a feeling that someday in the future, because they didn't really make that much money but they made a huge user base and developed pretty cool tools that eventually they might sell the company and unfortunately that's what's happened apparently skiff is now joining a company called notion now i'm not going to discuss notion i know nothing about notion uh, i think it's some kind of workplace tool but they're now joining notion and affecting destroying skiff this is pretty upsetting and kind of disappointing i'm not gonna lie i talked to a couple people from skiff over the years and they seemed like pretty cool people but this is definitely one of the worst ways to go about it in my opinion skiff products are going to be sunsetted after six months which means you can't use any of their products unless I'm mistaken, and that includes mail, pages, calendar, and drive. This is a huge disappointment since a lot of people rely on Skiff for their email, and now it's pretty much shitting the bucket. So, yeah, you could read more about it here. They said Skiff's mission is to bring freedom. We have a deep alignment with Notion, blah, 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 blah. And they have a couple things about migrating your data. So, yeah, apparently you can even request a refund. So guys, you might be wondering now with this video, what kind of email service should you use now? What kind of thing like Skiff is there out there that has um, drive support pages and uh, calendar and stuff like that? Well, I'm going to be discussing those options in this video with pros and cons of each one. Number one, we have something called private mail. Now this is a email service from TorGuard VPN. This does include drive support, which is nice um, and has pretty good applications across the board as well as contacts and calendar syncing. The only thing about private mail, it's a little outdated in terms of features and kind of capability. That said, I've talked to the team recently and they said they plan to do a little bit of a facelift. So if you're in the TorGuard ecosystem, you might want to consider checking out private mail, especially since you could get some pretty good bundles and I'll be putting a discount link and code in the description down below if you use tom spark you could get it pretty cheap around four dollars a month or even cheaper longer term this is definitely going to be one of the cheaper options you can go for next up of course we have proton mail now this does have a pretty good free plan and other different plans too proton mail is pretty well known and it has calendar drive and other different things um it's not quite as highly rated as a vpn provider as TorGuard vpn but it's still excellent um, in terms of its mail service this one is probably good if you want to stay within the ecosystem um it's a little bit pricey for just the paid model though 48 dollars TorGuard is probably half that price um but overall they do have a free plan which is nice so i'll be putting a link for proton in the description down below too if you decide you want to get that it will also help support the channel next up we have something like two to note 
Tonota, which is kind of interesting. Tutanota is a pretty cool brand and there was some controversies with them, but I do think it's a pretty good company and solid and reputable and everything like that. Um, it's a pretty good free uh, email service provider. It's now called Tuta, not Nota, by the way. Um, and it's pretty much competitive uh, with Proton, I think the only real difference here is it, it doesn't really seem to have as much drive support, although it has 500 gigabytes here. Um, I, uh, last I heard, um, it didn't really have like a file storage. Let me just double check that because they have been kind of changing things around there. Um, it does offer file storage. So yeah, up to 500 gigabytes. So I do stand corrected by myself, of course. They also can, can kind of compete there with Proton. So this is also another option. Um, you could go check them out. I don't have an affiliate link or any discount for them, unfortunately. So nothing in the description. Another one is Startmail. This one is interesting because that is unlimited email aliases. Um, this is another pretty good uh, email provider. I'll put a link for this in the description too if you're interested in this one. The only bummer with this one is it doesn't have a mobile application. Instead, you're just going to have to use some other third-party application and sync your email with it. Um, as you can see here, you can use it with Thunderbird Outlook and Apple Mail. So if you're looking to use those applications, instead of migrating to a new one, Start Mail could be a very good option to do, especially if you're looking for unlimited email aliases, which not a lot of the other ones provide. So I'll be putting a link for this in the description down below as well. Those are pretty much the big ones though. Private Mail, Proton, and Tuta in Start Mail. Unfortunately, Skiff has kind of shit the bed and left everyone out to dry, which is unfortunate because I've been recommending them for a number of years. Pro, 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 pro bono. Does that mean free? I think so. Anyways, guys, thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for staying up to date with these things, and I'll see you again very soon.